Hey everybody, this is Brian again from PMB Homestead. He wanted to do the update for the uh, plant propagation bed. I'll just show you some more of the uh, plants here. You can see we've got uh, quite a few of them that are still growing and hanging on. So I'm glad to see that. Got a couple, you know, that are pretty dead. That one there looks like it's just hanging on by a thread. Looks like we got quite a few survivors still growing in here. These here look like they're really thriving. And there's a little patch back there. But you know, there's some die off, but that's to be expected. That's one of the things is we're going to take this bed and this is going to move from down here. I guess I could talk about that in this video. We're going to take this propagation bed out from under the deck here. We're actually going to move it out here in the yard for next spring to this garden box back here that's never been a real good performer because it doesn't get a lot of sun. Because we have the peach tree here kind of blocks a lot of midday sun and then you have the big trees and brush tangle over there and there's only that little gap where the sun comes through just early morning into this area so it would be a nice diffused area for putting in a large propagation bed this is a five foot by ten foot bed so this is gonna be a really big step up for us to put in the uh, propagation bed for next year so after this fall, I'm going to basically take all this green matter, I'm going to dig out some of this, fill it with a mix of the uh, good soil that's in there and the uh, sand media with some perlite, get that prepped for next spring, and I'm going to go crazy with propagation. I'm going to try and produce at least 1,000 plants out of this bed, because I would love to get some more uh, azaleas. Maybe some uh, more currants. I haven't done any of the white currants, so I can do a whole batch of white currants. And then I can do some of the, uh, the variegated wagala. I'd like to do another whole couple hundred of those. I can start, uh, you know, gorilla gardening, planting those out in uh, various locations around the uh, roadside, you'd say, around here. Not to say that I'd, you know, go into anybody's private property, but, you know, putting some of those bushes around and... Uh, Hoping to give a broader base of nature around here would be nice because all you pretty much see is green ivy, English ivy growing on everything. And I'd like to have some color, you know, to look at around the area. Maybe grow some uh, of these bushes and plants to help feed the wild deer. Would also be nice. Because then they can have the, uh, the extra bounty to help the fawns as they're going through their growth cycle. I like to give back to nature, that's my whole thing. I figure nature is helping feed me and my family, and I want to be able to take this knowledge that I'm doing here on my urban homestead, and I want to spread it for everybody to share in. And, uh, you know, I guess we'll, we'll go through this adventure together, because, you know, that's why I do all this. I like to share everything that I'm doing, not to be like one of those know-it-all type people that shares, oh, I know everything about gardening, blah, blah, blah. I just like to share my love for the gardening, you know, and... Uh, Helping some people maybe get into the hobby themselves. You know, I think it's a great thing. All right. This has been Brian for PMV Homesteading. Talk to you guys next week. Bye.